Hello, Grimos, and welcome back to downloadable content. It must be Tuesday because it's Mod Showcase Tuesday. Before we get started today, I want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe because we're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers by Christmas, so I need your help, little Dylan. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel, and more importantly, make sure all of your pets, like your pet rabbit, dog, barracuda, is also subscribed. But seriously, though, spread the word. We want to smash this goal. I know we can do it. We have about, what, uh, two, almost two weeks till Christmas? So, don't let me down. You don't want to let me down, do you? But let's go ahead and get started. And no, this isn't jaundice. The first mod we have today is Demon Markings by Mishka. If we go into our mod section, you'll see the speed of glow for Demon Markings. Now, I don't know if this is working as intended, but in order for me to actually show this, we need to, well, possibly not be in these clothes. That off, take one of those off, this off, and probably these pants. Here we go, I can't wait to take a look. So right now, it doesn't actually seem like the demon markings are on the player model, which is strange because the eyes are working. So look, my eyes are glowing, like it has a fiery demonic glow to them, right? It's pretty cool. We could also go in the book and change the speed of glow. So if we crank that to two, do you see the speed of my eyes? The fire inside can see into your soul. I see that you're not subscribed. Do it! Do it now, subscribe! Now that you've been properly threatened, you, yeah, this is demon markings. So this is also a note to Nishka. Nishka, I thought that the demon markings were supposed to appear on the player mod, because that's what happens on PC. So, I don't know if it's working as intended, but that is Nomad Scripting in a Nutshell. Up next, we have a super request and mod because on Nomad, well, NPCs, they don't seem to last long. You know, you, you stick them once and then they perish. So this one is what we needed. It is Health Modifier by Nishka. If we go into the book, there's a lot of things that we can customize. You can even do the player's health and set it to super hard mode. Set yourself to zero so one shot will kill you, or set yourself to, I don't know, whatever you feel like setting it. Now, the NPC health can also be the same thing. Set them to one shot kill or make them impervious to almost all damage. The only thing is, I don't know if that works with the creature spawner spell, but we're going to test it. I call upon the powers of the dark forces to summon a person for educational purposes only. Are you going to live through this? Come on, I, we gotta know. It's there. So I set them to 5,000 health right now. And, uh, you think you're doing a good job of it. Yes, finally! Us nomad people, you can finally just keep standing and standing and standing and set this to whatever you want. We finally have it in nomad. This is cool. Now, probably dismembering any part of them will give them probably an instant death. Are you an instant death now? Get. Be instant death. I'm sorry. This one's not that sharp. Here we go. So even if their health is set pretty high, dismemberment will take them out. Now let's select a more reasonable number that I usually like fighting on. I bring them to about 300 to 500 is a good place. And now, spawn them on the beach. Spawn them on the beach. Okay, there we go. Time to shine. So now, around this one is a good fighting spot so you still can get like a nice one shot in there if you're still good but it gives them you know more health right but how much health do you have probably a decent amount right a lot try again so hit them one two can you take a stab can you take a stab can you take another stab you can take another stab but what about uh hi -ya! didn't think so but health modifier is one of the perfect mods for us up next is a mod I think I showed last week, but it wasn't working as intended. So, the one and only GenX went in and fixed it. It is Armament Hockey by GenX. So, going into our spell wheel here, we're going to select Armament Hockey, and you can do it with either one of your hands. So, that one, Hockey this one. And now look at my gloves. They are dark. So now I can block things, like this Rapscallion. Hey, Rapscallion. Yeah, Not I shouldn't be here when I have a block. Oh, cut in the face now. So this is like, I turn my hands to 
what's not stone, right? It's not stone technically. I don't know what it turns them into, but it turns them into stuff that can block things and also be more devastating weapons. Prepare yourself for devastation, young one! Uppercut! Now, I thought you can, like, hotkey, like, weapons and stuff, but I don't remember how to do so. If you figure out how to do so, let me know. But Armament Hockey is great if you're looking for some, you know, fist combat, you want to do unarmed stuff and still be able to block. This is kind of the way to go. I also recommend turning on self-collision as well. So go ahead and have some fun. Up next is a mod I have been loving on the PC and I'm so happy that it is now working for the most part on Nomad. It is Snap by Genix. If we go into our book and select Snap, you're going to notice there is a lot of stuff you can do and I will be here to walk you through it. So you have a left hand and you have right hand as well. But let's go over some of this stuff. Let's start with the the distance that's just the what you're targeting closest to you or farthest whatever most health it's really cool that you can customize all that stuff now the next is the target type so you can target an enemy an ally all npcs yourself or items where did my eyes go doesn't matter targeting yourself is going to be for things like healing you don't want to just like disable yourself you know what i'm saying now this is what can happen to an npc right now it's set to kill which is pretty straightforward so let's take a look at that and now we need a creature friend Hey, bud. Snap. Wasn't that excellent? You just snap and it does your hand pose and everything. Look, snap, snap, snap. Just look how threatening this looks. What did you say to me, snap? Up next is damage, but you know what that's gonna do. Stagger is real fun. See, this man wants to fight me. Stagger, stagger. It's like you can make him dance. It can be like, oh, da -na 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 -na. dance, do 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 dance, da -ba -na -na -na. dance. <laughs> So, yeah. Then we have destabilize. Now this one is pretty straightforward. You can, well, destabilize and pretty much make them trip, which you can make them trip, that's hilarious. But then, after destabilize, we have sleep. Knocked unconscious. Only for me to do the Lord's work and the Lord commandeth me to not do this, don't worry. So exploding is working as intended. In fact, it actually makes your quest explode and crash the game. So right now that one, still works so of course work in progress we know this is a beta for scripting but the next one i'm going to show you is ignite and hopefully this will not ignite my headset yeah there we go oh, did you hit me you're burning though Keep burning burn all right so he ow! <laughs> he's just burning right now and uh he's not he's just all charred up finally Hey, bud, you want to see something cool? You want to see yourself get frozen? So it's kind of like sleep in a way, but it wears off. So freeze. It'd be kind of cool if he shattered, right? Then, of course, electrocute. You know, it's similar to a guy, you just electrocute him. And then we have smite. Get smited. So it calls down a thunderbolt from the sky, which looks awesome. Just thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Now, here's a fun one. This is called next snap. So you just be like, hey, friend. <laughs> I don't think it makes a proper snapping sound. Genesis, we're gonna need like a, a a decent snapping sound. Like, let's see if we can hear. It. And oh, there we go. No, we're good. Now is a great time to use this one called Resurrect. So even though his neck was snapped, Resurrect. Get back up, bud. We have work to do. I'll show you one of my favorites. It's called Polymorph. Turn into chocolate. Well, that works. You can turn them into things. You can turn enemies into different things. And because we have breakables. I like to imagine that their soul is still trapped in here, and I could be like, come on, break. Yeah, there we go. There's your soul. So let's look at both hands. I'm going to put left hand on levitate, and let's move over to the right hand. The right hand we're going to set to crush. Now, this is important. You need to make sure you select snap in the left hand and snap in the right hand. And now, what we're going to do is say hi to this buddy. Hi, bud. Snap. He's going to start levitating. So up, up, and away he goes. Which This is one of my favorite ones next to Polymorph. Because you can be like, okay, bud. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's going to get sent to outer space. But we can interfere because in the right hand, I could snap and crush him back to the ground. Oh, man. Oh, boy. The levitation still sticks out even with crush. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. I don't even have a spell to stop you. Maybe a fireball? Will a fireball help? 
I don't think the fireball's gonna help. Okay, sorry. Let's focus on player actions. Swap with NPC. Now, I need to make sure that the, we select ourselves. So left-hand target type, we wanna make sure we are selecting the player. Now let's put a creature all the way up about there. There we go, so now he's up there, and we're down here. Now watch carefully, because we are going to magically switch places now. Hey, look, we used to be down there. I really like that, but what does it look like in third person? Whoa, that looked cool. Uh, I can do jump transitions now. I just have to climb up here real fast. Hey, bud. I have an experiment, so just don't get in the way, and everything will be normal, okay? Don't yeah. get in the way. Listen, I need to get even higher. Almost there. Perfect. Here we are, on top of Mount Wanahakalugi. This is great. Let's select snap in this hand, and let's do this. So, <laughs> I know in my heart that the NPCs don't have this animation. Wait, where'd he go? Did he drop himself? No, we need a new one. The other guy, uh, he, he got Roblox. Good, stay there now. Make sure we have left hand snap. Perfect. Now, I know the enemies don't have this animation, so if we snap Jutsu. Oh no. Snap. Oh gosh. Change places. There we go. Now he's the one falling. Look, he fell from a very high height. This is kind of great. This is like pseudo teleportation because. Let's say I want to go over there and I don't feel like climbing. Cool. Thanks, bud, idiot. All right, all right. That's pretty much all I have to show you today. What's that? You want one more mod? I don't know. Fine, fine, because you're good. I'm going to show you something top secret. Not many people know about this one. It's top secret. Now, I don't usually recommend doing something like this, but for some reason, this works. So, up next is the Flip Spell by Genix. Now, this is still technically a PC mod, straight up coded for PC and not supposed to be available for Nomad. You will not find the Flip Spell on the Nomad page anywhere, well, right now. So, you actually are installing a PC mod. Gasp! I know, I know, you're not supposed to do that, but I'm telling you, this one works. So let's jump and climb up somewhere high and do ourselves a nice flip. Select the flip mod in whatever section you want, right hand, left hand, jump and then pull the trigger. And based on where you're going, forward inertia, backwards inertia with the sticks, you'll do it. So if I want to do the back flip, I'm going to hold back, then do it while holding. So did you see that? Flip. Let's do this slow motion so it's a little bit easier to understand. I'm flipping. You can also technically do it in third person, but I think the camera flips with the player, so it's gonna look insane. Yeah, it looks insane. But when you're still doing it in the world, well, that's all you need to do. Quest, jump, flip. Yeah, we're finally flipping! That's the only PC mod you could use on Quest! Well, my friends, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Tuesday. I hope you had a ton of fun, and I also hope that you go ahead and subscribe. Remember, we want to smash this goal. Let's get to 150,000 by Christmas, and I know that we can do it. So go ahead and subscribe right now. It's the best time to do so. In the description is a link to all the mods. Make sure you get them there. But other than that, I have been your boy, Drifter. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you next time.